Hello there and welcome back to this HTML5 course where today we're going to be starting up unit 2 where we're going over the new elements in HTML. So we're going to be starting with the WBR element also known as the word break element and this element is actually pretty straightforward. It essentially just defines a uh, possible word break position where we can, you know, break the word if the window is resized, um, you know, that we can, uh, you know, put there. So it's a word break opportunity essentially. So let's go and take a look at how we can actually use this in HTML. All right, so uh, here we are in our text editor. Let's go ahead and create a new file here. There we go. Um, so let's go ahead and make this HTML. There it is. And now let's go ahead and do HTML here. Uh, we can, let's do doc type HTML. There we go. Let's do HTML. Let's close the tag as well. There we go. And let's do a body here. There it is. Okay, perfect. Now inside here, let's go ahead and create a paragraph. Just some text. There we go. Hard to type with a microphone in the way. Okay, and then here let's just create like a like a like a word. I don't know, maybe a. This is a sentence. Sentence. Uh, with a, I don't know, word that is very long, uh, like this. Okay, and then let's add a quick style here. Style, uh, style, uh, font size is going to be, uh, let's make it a thousand pixels. We need to make it really big. All right, now let's save that. Uh, I have this HTML5 folder on my desktop. Let's go ahead and save that as um, ls1, ls1.html. There we go. And now let's go ahead and uh, reveal that in Finder. There it is. Let's go ahead and uh, open up Google Chrome here and drag that in. All right, there we go. So now we can see we get this is a sentence with a, and then we can see here that we have a word that is very long uh, like this, right? So, and then this word doesn't actually break anywhere. So this is because it has nowhere to break since it, is, it doesn't have a space anywhere. Now, if we add right here, so let's say between the very and the long, if we go to add a WBR tag like that, and let's refresh the page. There it is. You can see now that we it changed a little bit. And right here we can see word that is very, and then it breaks, and then long like this. There we go. So that's actually what the WBR tag does. It creates a word break opportunity. So if we have a very long word, we can insert that. And then if the window is resized, it's going to go ahead and break them. Now it's important to understand that, that, that this isn't actually a break. If we set the font size to something normal, like maybe, I don't know, let's just do 20. And refresh. There we go, you can see that this is a sentence with a word that is very long like this, and it won't actually break. It'll only break if there isn't enough space on the page. There we go, you can see that now there's not enough space, and it goes ahead and breaks it at the place where we put the WBR. And that is essentially the word break opportunity tag. Oh, 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 oh,